Well, good morning. Welcome to Move Early, Move Often. I am Blake Martin. It is uh, Throwdown Thursday. My co-host, as always, uh, keeping it real. Uh, not bringing us technicals today, but uh, he is very much keeping it real from the heart of the big city. Uh, it's Thomas Caracolis. Uh, today, we're going to do um, a... Um, we're looking at uh, progressive overload. This idea that we want to, um, over time, push our bodies harder than we previously did. And um, so there's two things that I ask of you, that if it's too much um, that you stop and that if it's not enough, you keep going. So um, you want to find that fine balance. Um, we're going to be doing six repetitions of uh, three different exercises. And so we'll do them uh, progressively in a row. We'll do uh, 20 seconds on, 10 off, 20 seconds on, 10 off, 20 seconds on, 10 off. This is one version of what's called a Tabata workout. And uh, I, it, there's, it's not exactly as he prescribed it in his research, but um, it's, it is one version of that. The three exercises that we're going to be doing uh, today is we're going to be doing uh, a push-up, a squat, bodyweight squat, and um, a, wow, what, what is it with me forgetting the third exercise? A plank. That's the third one. <laughs> and uh, let me just demonstrate. So you can do the push-up. Uh, you can modify your push-ups in a, in a few different ways. And what becomes important for this particular um, uh, activity is um, you need to move continuously. You need to kind of give yourself more than you've ever given yourself before. You don't want to go so far that you tear a muscle or anything like that, but uh, you do um, you do want to go further. So uh, one modification you can do is you can take a chair for your, your push-up and you can do a slightly elevated push-up. All right. Now, the problem with the chair is that it doesn't place your arms in exactly the right position. I, I want to focus on push-ups where your elbows are off to the side, all right? So our elbows are going to be at 90 degrees to our torso. They're going to be as much to the side as is possible. You can do this on your knees as well. That's another thing you can do, or you can do it against a wall. So with your knees uh, on the ground in the... Uh, extended push-up position or on a chair or against the wall, you're going to push down so that your chest touches the floor. And I sometimes push my face forward. And if you've seen my nose, my nose can get to the floor pretty fast relative to the rest of my face. And so um, I, I uh, have to avoid doing that. I'm going to keep my spine in great alignment. Do a nice push-up. Yes. Okay. That's the push-up. The squat, uh, the important thing about the squat is, and I observed this in myself the last time I did this, was uh, for the squat, um, you, you want to bring your hips down. The last time what I started doing was I started bringing my shoulders down more uh, when I was getting tired. So you're trying to get your hips down and your hips should go hopefully about to knee level or a little below, okay? Do them slow and progressively. You're going to keep doing them. There's going to be way more than you want there to be. We'll take breaks in between each of the things, though, and we'll do little mini stretches. Last exercise is the plank. You can, for the plank, the um, if you, you can place your hands together. But the important thing, and you can do it either from your knees, or I'm just tucking my shirt here so you can see I'm not letting my uh, pelvis sink through. I'm holding my pelvis off the ground, right? If you find this super easy, you can do, uh, you can lift one leg, you can alternate leg lifts. Um, and uh, if you're finding it more difficult, you can go to the knee. And in between, we're just gonna let our hips come down and we're gonna push up like this, all right? So we're just gonna do a little bit of warm up now. Those are three exercises. And let's do, let's take, let's untuck that shirt because you look like a geek, Blake. 
We do some uh, shoulder circles. Shoulder circles. Opposite direction. Shoulder circles. Cross and open. We're going to really be working in the pecs. So on this opening, go nice and open. There's muscles that we use for um, uh, a movement called horizontal flexion, and they're going to be very active. Let's come down on your quad position. Just lift your hip up and do knee circles. We're warming up those hip flexors a little bit, but we're also stabilizing our torso. All right, the other direction, please. Please, you're here for a throwdown. I shouldn't be saying please, uh, but but please, uh, opposite knee. Stabilize your torso, opposite direction, warming up those hip flexors a little bit. All right. And let me just show you a stretch that we should do in between our push-up sets. And we'll just do a little bit here, interlace your fingers behind. Press your hands down, opening your chest and drawing your shoulders away from your ears. Don't geek your head forward here. And then lift your hands away from your hips as far as you can. And then pull them up your back as far as you can. All right, and getting ready. This is gonna be our first set. Here we go, push-ups. All the way down and all the way up. 20 seconds of push-ups. You're keeping your spine elongated, and whether you're doing them on your knee, on a chair, or against a wall, you're doing full motion. I'm gonna, on the next rest, I'm gonna increase my volume here. So you can maybe hear what's going on. Seven seconds rest. And here we go. Next set. So set two, probably not feeling it as much. That was a halfway beep. There's a little halfway beeps. All right. You may just want to open up, do this stretch. Fingers interlace, drawing your hands down. Set three. Keep your spine elongated. That's your halfway mark. Bring your chest all the way down. All right, maybe some circles, maybe opening your chest. Set four. You do what you can, and if you can't do more, you take a rest. That's the deal. Keeping your spine elongated. Don't cheat with your chin. And open. All right. So the idea here is that you're going a little further than you did last time. So you may want to keep score on how many you do. All right. One more set on these. So open up, nice and open. Last set. It's your halfway mark. Did I lie? I may have lied. Oh, there's more push-ups, friends. Well, we're doing four minutes, not three minutes. Right. 
So that's going <laughs> to... It's going to be eight sets of each. What a liar. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, he's so cruel, isn't he cruel? Well, it's supposed to be a throwdown, right? Here we go. This is the last set. You can do it. You got it in you. When I run marathons, I always tell myself, you can run another kilometer. You run a kilometer all the time. Oh, okay, and I am feeling that now. And squats are up next. You want to stand up. Whew. All right, we have a minute of rest here. So just take this second minute and open up your chest. Lift your chin a little bit. If you have a wall handy, place your hand on the wall facing away from your fingers. Uh, your fingers facing backwards. Wow. And do the same thing on the opposite side. And big circles with your arms, exploring the range of motion. In 10 seconds, and we'll be doing our squats. Feet are about shoulder width apart, toes pointing just very slightly out. I'm squatting down, hips below, the knees. Your back should be straight, your chin is down. Bring those hips nice and low. All right, we can stretch, quick quad stretch each side. And round two of eight. Apparently eight, two, keep your hips down, your back is straight, nice, deep squats, as deep as you can go for you. If you find going really deep difficult, then you don't go as deep. Quick quad stretch, each leg. There's this um, strength length trade off in muscles where the longer muscle is relative to itself, the stronger it is. So just keep going here, nice and deep, as deep as you can go for you. All right. So, this elongation of the muscle in between sets is helpful. And squats again. And if you need a harder workout too, you can go a little bit faster, but still maintain control and a nice straight back. All right, and our rest. And back at it. I'm trying to get my heels way down, uh, my hips way down there close to my heels. I gotta watch it though because I start compromising the uh, straightness of my back at the end of that. I think my uh, internet connection may have given up there. I'm going to keep going. Yep. All right. And quad stretch. Each side. Back at it. Keep going.
quad stretch. And in the interval, I'm gonna see if I can get my uh, connection back up here. The nice low squats. Nice and deep. Keeping your back straight and elongated. All right. So just stretch your quads there for a second. I'm going to see what I can do about getting back in here. All right. And hopefully you guys are still here. Uh, so stretching your quads, you've been doing squats all that time. Oops. I thought I had it. And so keep stretching your quads, alternating between legs. And we're gonna move into our plank series next. So just uh, get ready for that. You have to deal with me trying to, that's 10 second warning. Coming up. And down for plank. Good, strong position, long, elongated. Press your heels away from the top of your head. And your chin is tucked. And your uh, shoulders are over top of your elbows. You're holding. And let your hips sink down. With your hands on the mat, press up and away like a little cobra. And coming back up into plank position. And holding. Your spine is long, the back of your neck is long, your chin is tucked slightly. And hips down. Stretch upward in your cobra, back down. And a good plank position, solid. If you want an extra challenge, go up on one toe. And the opposite toe. And down, let your hips sink through. Palms on the mat, pressing up and away. Shoulders down, ears pulling away from your shoulders. Back down, planking out. And that's your halfway mark. Your spine is long. You're holding and breathing. And the hips come down. Press up and away from your mat. Let your hips come open here. Back down. And elongated, tall in the spine, long through the neck, from the neck to the heels, all the way down. Feel like your spine is getting longer as you do this, not shorter, as your hips are held off the mat. And Hips down, press up into a baby cobra. Back down, toes under, into our plank. Good strong plank position, hips are not sinking through, your pelvis is being held up. Your neck is long, chin is tucked, elbows under shoulders. All right. Pressing up again. We're almost through this. You're doing great. And hips up again in our plank. Let's see your 10 second mark. And down. Pressing up and away. Let's 
Is this the last set or the second last set? It's hard to tell. But we're just going to go for it like it's our second last. Really give it. And holding and breathing. Don't forget to breathe. That's always critical. All right. And pressing up. One last time. Opening up in through the hips. All right. And bring your knees in. Press back. And rock forward. Press back. Again. Tent up your fingers. And walk your fingers over to one side of your mat. Opening up along the opposite side. Come back to the middle. And walk your fingers over to the other side of the mat. And my timer is telling me that was a minute of cool down, but I want to take another moment. Let's go into a lunge posture here, low, just your knees on the ground. We're kind of at 90 90. And just creep your toes forward a little bit on your front foot and press your hip open on the opposite leg. Reach up. Same arm as down leg. And open your arm to the back. Match knees. Opposite leg forward. Creep your toes forward and open the hip. Press into that, opening the hip. Arm up. Reaching to the sky, shoulder down, away from your ear. And open to the back. And down. Standing. And match your knees together side by side so that they're matched in two planes, the coronal and sagittal plane. And pull your heel towards your buttocks. Press the top of your foot into your hand. Release into the top of your hand. Release one more time, your hand, and release. You might go with that foot gently. Opposite foot. And matching your knees together. Press the top of your foot into your hand. And release. Let's do that a second time. And release. And third time. Release and let that foot go. All right. Well, that was a challenging uh, set for me a little bit uh, on the push ups for sure and on the squats, was getting there. And hopefully, it was challenging for you too. The idea is to push yourself a little bit further, not to do what someone else does. And I hope that you were able to embrace that for you. Tomorrow, if you're not used to this kind of um, movement, um, the idea of progressive overload is that we're trying to make the muscle stronger. So you may feel a little sore tomorrow as the tissues are repairing themselves. And um, there's lots of good things you can do for that. The uh, movement is one of the best things, so gentle movement in the same range as you were doing before, stretching, massage, but not typically before 24 hours uh, afterwards, and heat and cold in the literature have received equal accolade for getting rid of that pain. 
Anyways, you've moved early. I hope you remember to move often and I hope you have a fantastic day. Tune in tomorrow for Functional Friday when we'll be doing something completely different. Have a great one.